Part of being a parent is keeping your kids safe, but sometimes you need a little help. KTVO's Troy Moling spoke with some local experts who are teaching life-saving lessons. School is in session at the Kirksville Fire Department, but these students aren't learning how to fight fires. They're saving lives in a different way. We are actually training people to become child passenger safety technicians. We want to try to get as many technicians as we can so that they can go out and help the people that live in their community make sure that their kids get their car seats installed properly. Students from Adair, Macon, Grundy, and Knox counties are taking part in the three-day course. The Northeast Coalition for Roadway Safety, in conjunction with the Kirksville Fire Department, is hosting a free event Friday to make sure car seats are ready for the road. They'll also be answering any questions that parents may have. We're going to try to get as many families as we can between the hours of 11 and 1 o'clock here at the Kirksville Fire Station to have their car seats checked. What we really want to do is get as many families as possible to come through um, it'll help the class because the students are going to be able to work with the real families and actually do installs for them. And then the families will walk away safer with their child secured in a car seat. Yeah, Kevin Rhodes is a father of two. Even he was surprised at how much of a challenge it can be to make a car seat secure. I'm learning quite a bit uh, that hopefully I can go out in the community and help people make sure that their car seats are installed safely and their children are safe. Missouri law requires all children under the age of eight to be in an appropriate child safety seat unless they are at least 80 pounds or at least four feet nine inches tall. Depending on the county, penalties for not having your child in a car seat can range from a $25 ticket to child endangerment charges and a fine of $1,000. Reporting from Kirksville, Troy Moling, KTVO News. Captain Joe Schilling of the Kirksville Fire Department hopes to have 20 or 30 cars at Friday's event. But he reminds everyone that you can get help with a car seat at the Kirksville Fire Station anytime.